this one, um, this live broadcast is for my African people, very short, uh, my, my African people, my African friends. And, um, you know, I love you all. Uh, that's why you are in my friends. I follow what you are saying in your social media. And uh, it's a lot of bullshit. You have to stop this thing. What you can do in the situation of war, um, of Russian Federation against innocent country, Ukraine. First of all, you have your people over here. Uh, you have peop your people in Ukraine. The problem is that they can't leave Ukraine. And the, pro the biggest problem is that most of them, uh, they do not have tools to survive in Ukraine. They, many of them, they don't know language. They don't know where to stay. They don't have relatives who can help them. They are all alone. And you can use your social media to organize uh, uh, safety for these people. I don't know how you will do it, but this is what you have to think about. You don't have to think now about the word of God. We all of us, we know God. And we can hear from Him. We don't need your word saying, this is the word of God I've got. It, it doesn't help. We can hear from God ourselves. What you can do is take actions, make things happen, make things happen and very fast. Did you see news that African students in Ukraine, they can't leave Ukraine? Help them, organize WhatsApp groups, organize, um, write uh, posts, write, get connections, do things to practically help your people. Because it's full war here in Ukraine. I'm not in Ukraine, uh, sorry to say here, but you understand what I mean. Uh, what I mean, it's a full war. My family is there and I know what's happening. So stop writing this bullshit, your religious bullshit. You have to stop writing your religious bullshit. You have to take actions. Your relig religious bullshit doesn't help. No one needs this. Stop discussing, should we pray or should we action? Or where, where is your scientific mindset? You have to stop this bullshit. You have to stop this bullshit. Take actions. Start organizing groups to help your own people. Your people need you right now. They don't need your uh, showing how smart you are. You are very smart. You can write nice words. You can speak and discuss about politics. Really? Is it the time to say, should we help or should we not help? Really? From, the, from your houses where you have water, where you have food, you have uh, safety there from your houses. Really? Stop writing bullshit in social media. Help your people, first of all. Secondly, my friends, you ask me what you can do in this situation. Except of helping your people, what else you can do? Press your governments to send help. I don't know what help can be sent. You have to research and take your time to research and find. You cannot just stay, watch, and there are people dying. And you cannot stay separate. You cannot stay away and just watch and say, this is Ukraine, this is far. No, this is the war of Russia against world order, against safety of the world order, safety. They, ch they try to impose their mindset on all the world. And this mindset is irresponsibility. They go destroy nation and they don't want to take responsibility for this. We don't want this happening in the world. You have to stand for this. We need your help. You have to press your governments to help. This is number one. Second, you have to organize groups and do stuff to save your own people. They are struggling now to get out of Ukraine and they can't. There are problems, there are issues. So I see two, three posts um, saying here is how you connect. Uh, here, here is uh, how uh, students can get help. And under these posts, I see no shares. Are you serious? You are sharing all the, all the religious bullshit and you are not sharing posts about how students 
African students can be helped. Are you serious? Share this information. If you see post where someone is trying to help, share this information. So share it in, so, in social media, in your public spaces, in your private messages. Share it. Don't dance on the blood. Don't dance on the blood. Don't show your smartness and uh, talk about your religious bullshit and, and uh, saying the word of God and everything. Okay? We need prayers. We need prayers. But we need also actions. Prayers and actions. Prayers and actions. What else you can do? You can... Um, you can press your governments to use diplomatic tools diplomatic tools to stop Russia. They know what to do. You have to go out there and make it public that you want your governments to action. You can educate your people also. You can educate your friends when you talk to them. You can, first of all, tell them to stop this, you know, religious bullshit. And second, uh, you can tell them that this war is not between two countries about something that you don't know what is it. This war is of the country that is uh, uh, such as uh, aggressor as um, Hitler was. You understand? It's exactly the same aggression. It's not aggression that is like between two, um, two between to people and you don't know who those people are. It's not about that. You have to stand. Because if you will not stand, you know what, I got a word of God, let me share, share with you my word of God, when this all started happening. Do you remember uh, the situation where Esphere, and I don't remember how does it sound in uh, in English, Esphere, Esphere, I um, don't remember. Uh, she she was told that if you will keep silent at this point, you and your house will will dis will be destroyed. If you keep silence, hear me very well. If you keep silence right now, if you stand and watch, if you just you know talk your religious bullshit in your social media, you are keeping silence. And if you are keeping silence. You will be responsible for this silence. This is the word of God from you. You are religious. You believe in God. You want the word of God. This is the word of God. If you will keep silence, you and your house will die. But we will be saved. We will be saved in a, from any other place. We will be saved from a, Esther. Say thank you very much. Esther. So we will be saved from any other place. But if you keep silence, you and your house will perish. How it will happen? Very simple. It will show that you are irresponsible for other people's pains. And today there are your African people, your African students, young people who went abroad to uh, to make, uh, to get education and to come back to your country and to build up your country, you have to stand for them. They need your help right now. They don't, they cannot survive in, uh, at war. There. They don't have their relatives. They don't know language. Some of them, they cannot even speak. You understand? You have to help them. You have to direct your attention to this and stop your religious bullshit speaking in social media. That's not the time to show how smart you are. This is not the time to, to have discussions under the social uh, media posts. It's, that's not the time to have discussions. This is the time to action and organize the savior of your people. Okay? Stop sharing this uh, stuff and start sharing something that will bring solution to your people. Start 